Hey guys, Mark from Oregon Bushcraft. Just wanted to take a, a quick minute tonight and show you guys uh, my brew kit. So this is basically the main pieces of my kit. I have a lot of other cups and thermoses and pots and stuff like that, but these are the items um, that are pretty much a constant. So just wanted to go over them with you really quick. <coughs> Uh, the first is I got a new REI mug. This is an 18 ounce mug. Um, I had picked up the recycled plastic Stanley 20 ounce mug, uh, but I really wasn't happy with the way the, the, way the lid fit on. Uh, you know, they're just a push on lids on this one too, uh, but the other one just didn't, I don't know. I just didn't like the way it the way it fit on there. So replace it with this. I'll be giving this a shot uh, weekend after next. We'll see how it goes. Nine dollars and fifty cents from REI. Really lightweight too. Uh, pretty happy with that. Next is a <clears throat> fuel storage. Uh, I keep one of the, uh, the old aluminum bottles in here, full of alcohol, and then uh, <clears throat> I also lined it uh, with Reflectix on the inside. Uh, to keep it from getting too cold or getting too hot. This is my kettle. Uh, it's a one liter. Uh, it's an Alex brand, uh, but I replaced the uh, the knob on the top. The other one was pretty hard to, to grab onto, so I just uh, had this one sitting in the drawer. Threw it on there. Very, very lightweight. Um, works really awesome. Very happy with it. These uh, normally fit inside my, uh, my water bottle holder. Um, I just have them out because I need to refill the agave. So this is stevia, uh, artificial, well, actually it's a natural sweetener, uh, and this is agave. I prefer to use agave in tea. I think it just it just tastes better uh, to me than honey. Uh, so these two guys will ride with me sometimes. Don't always take um, the sweetener, but I always take the agave. So, you know, you're pretty standard. Uh, bottle holder you know this is like a no name no name one from ebay it was like 11 bucks or something threw the mora on there and then inside i've got this little box uh this came from craft warehouse they sell these for a dollar they work out great and they seem to fit in all the pouches uh for some reason and then in here i'll keep uh, eight tea bags and then eight Diet Snapple water uh, additives. I like the Snapple ones the best. I've tried a bunch of other ones. Uh, the Arizona, uh, Arizona makes a, makes a couple good ones too, but uh, I tend to use those. I don't know why, but <clears throat> I will drink, uh, you know, I'll drink those all day, uh, but other times it's hard for me to, to actually force myself to drink water, so. And they're sugar-free, which is good also. And then I also have a little half uh, teaspoon in here, and <clears throat> I use this for stirring, and then also measuring out the uh, stevia. Uh, so one half teaspoon uh, is basically two tablespoons of sugar, uh, or so they say. I don't mind the taste of this stuff. I'm not really a fan of it in tea, um, you know, but if I'm really trying to watch the sugar intake, um, you know, I'll use this. So inside the bag, I've got my Alex uh, burner and pot stand. Uh, this is basically just a Trangia clone. It works really awesome. It's got the uh, it's got the simmer ring on the top. There's uh, alcohol in it now, so I'm not going to open it. Uh, fits in the stand really nice. The stand is really stable. Um, you know, it works great. It's really lightweight. Uh, this is definitely probably a step down from the Esbit set, uh, but I don't use um, a pot like the Esbit. So this for me um, is, is perfect. I love this thing. It puts out a really good flame. Uh, it's not too crazy, but it'll still do the standard, you know, three and a half to four minute boil on a liter of water. Keep a one liter, uh, an algae bottle in there. I just have your basic 20 ounce or 18 ounce stainless steel cup. Everything fits together pretty nicely inside there. Uh, I used to carry it the other way around like this, uh, but because of the edges on here, 
it was kind of a pain in the butt getting out of the bag. Uh, this is basically just like day trip uh, stuff uh, for extended visits. I have another bag that I add which also carries like my kitchen stuff and then uh, many more packet of drink mix and then also coffee creamer, uh, coffee, coffee packets, all well, that kind of stuff goes, goes in here as well. I've got a trip coming up uh, in, geez, like seven days heading up to Mount Hood uh, for the Yeti Hang, which is put on by a group called the Cascade Hangers from hammockforums.net. Really excited for that. Uh, it's been fun getting everything together and uh, trying out the mountain house meals for the first time. I've never done the, uh, the backpacking meals before, uh, so this will be an interesting experiment. Um, I'm not sure if I'll ever use them again, but I wanted to take this trip as an opportunity to, to try them out and test them. So yeah, that's basically it. Again, this is Mark from Oregon Bushcraft, and we'll see you guys next time.